what a weird dynamic is in the military. I, I was just uh, talking to a guy at the Salvation Army, and he had to remind me of being in the military. And I was thinking about my TI instructor and how I was actually like attracted to my TI instructor. I actually felt like she was she was attractive, like like physically. Now, how can you be attractive attracted to a TI instructor? How do you get away with that? I mean. That changes your experience in the military a lot. Because I have to wonder, you know, if she had attractions for the guys that she also uh, disciplined as well. Did she let, did she, was she easy on the guys she was, uh, like, attracted to as opposed to guys she was not attracted to? Because I was feeling that attraction. And I tried to, like, you know, kind of hide that, that thought. You know, but... It's still there. She is a female. What do you do? You can't, and, and I've been living in denial all my life, pretty much. When there is an attractive woman that passes by, just try to deny it. That's, that's, uh, comes with the problems of, of living with practically all females growing up as a child. <clears throat> you don't look at them as objects. They sort of, they sort of need, they need more respect and all that. Um, as opposed to my dad who, li who grew up with pretty much all, all males. You know, there's, there's a different dynamic, a different shift. And I, I mean, I'm not saying I, yeah, I didn't grow up with my dad. He, he moved out. So then it left me with my sisters and my mom and then, well, the boyfriend, but he played no major role. But coming out of that type of family setting and then going into the basic training, um, yeah, that, that, that prepare me for, you know, uh, not, that prepared me to not hit on uh, the, the training instructor. And she was, what, how old? Uh, maybe uh, mid-30s or so. She already had a child. But, I don't know, just, there's just some, some kind of attractive quality about her that I liked. And I've found it in other in other ladies I've I've seen throughout the years that have had similar features. I've found that I've had good interactions with a, a particular look, and 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 it's, some of them have actually uh, showed like an interest in in me in turn. And how to describe that? How to describe their the physical? Because I look at Chinese face reading as being very plausible. You know, it's it seems to be freckles, which I guess a lot of guys, you know, have, uh, are into. But it seems like I have good interactions with. Ah, uh, it's you know maybe kind of like it's hard. It's it's kind of kind of derogatory in a way to describe it, but to say like a chipmunk type of look or something, it's strange. Is it? But there's there's a pattern there. I mean, I'm 40. I've noticed. A bit of a pattern developing with people who seem to be more uh, pleasant with my argumentative, my argumentative type style of, of talking compared to you know other people. There's some people you know you can kind of tell by looking at them that they'll get offended easily, whereas uh, others kind of embrace an argumentative type of uh, personality. So. There's just something to, th to think about. I was just wanted to bring out in words here.